All right, y'all, so my time ran out. This is part two, go back to part one to catch up. But what I'm seeing is like, you may be taking a step back to look at your investment into a connection that you have with someone, right? And you're looking to see your efforts pay off. But of course, it's like with this in a reverse position, you're not being supported, okay? Um, and not in the way that I feel like you may be wanting to be supported, okay? So here, yep, Ace of Cups. So this is about love. Something could have ended with you and a person already, right? If it hasn't happened already. already. But mm -hmm, don't dwell on it is what I'm seeing. Yeah. Five of Cups came out in a reverse. So this is a period for you to recover. If you still got two perfectly good standing cups behind you. Don't focus on the spilled milk, right? Don't get stuck. Don't be wondering, hey, should I stay? Should I go? I got the Eight of Cups in a reverse because this is about your journey, your spiritual journey. So this is about you taking this transition or you taking a new path at this point, okay? Um, if you are this lady, right? It's time for you to to keep to get moving. It's time for something to end. Um, you're just your story isn't finished yeah look this eight of wands came out i don't know how it flew out you know what direction it laid but the joint just flew out so i'm gonna take it so the eight of wands is like you want to see progress and what i'm seeing is that there's some type of stagnation yeah you're not seeing progress it's too much stagnation so it's time for you to get going six of wands right you want to feel successful you want to achieve your goals you want so much out of life right and i feel like you are now at this point where you are even being recognized publicly is what i'm seeing okay with some things five of wands comes out in a reverse position okay so it's too much conflict all right it's too much it's too much arguments tension conflict it could be competition or something but Whereas it stands, it seems like it's some things here where you may need to either retreat um, or move forward. Yeah, because when it comes to your legacy, baby, look at this. Ten of Pentacles upright next to this um, Eight of Swords. You're restricted. You feel like your hands is tied. And the person that you're trying to get there with, they may be like, yeah, they may feel the same exact way too. Right? But this is about you building a legacy for yourself. So you have a lot of wisdom and knowledge that you have been gaining from your situation. Again, I feel like this is about your spiritual growth on top of that. But you are creating some things here in your life. And yeah, it's time for you to go through this transformation. Spirit has you is what I'm hearing. You're being supported. So tell me about this letter. So some things may have definitely taken place through a letter where you may have wanted to you may have decided, look, I got to disconnect myself from some things here. Yep, Queen of Pentacles in the world card in the reverse. So stay tuned for part three.